Well, uh, uh, there's no question that uh, who will be the premier. It's, uh, of course, it's not announced until um, March. It will be Li Chang. As you said rightly, that uh, uh, there's a little bit of controversy uh, in the way that he handled Shanghai lockdown. But uh, first of all, we should see that uh, even early on, he tried, he tried the precision lockdown, and uh, but it did not work. But of course, now looking back, certainly he carried out the order from Beijing, not just by himself. But this also show us from Chinese leadership perspective, especially from Xi Jinping's perspective, uh, China's uh, uh, COVID policy is not a failure, but a success, given that China has the lowest infection rate, lowest death toll uh, per capita. Maybe uh, he can make that statement. But of course, you should persuade the people within China why you should continue this kind of draconian nature of the lockdown. And but the more important, that Li Chang has uh, different messages. You, yes, you're right. He is actually has been seen as market friendly. He advanced career from Zhejiang, Jiangsu, and Shanghai. Uh, very heavily emphasized on uh, in the private sector in Zhejiang and Jiangsu. And also, Shanghai is the most cosmopolitan city in, 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 in the country. So that certainly could uh, uplift some confidence among the business community within uh, in China and outside the world. So let's see how he will perform, how he will deliver. When President Xi Jinping took office in 2013, he mounted an anti-corruption campaign, which, of course, uh, was focused on state-owned enterprises, uh, on uh, the government as well. In 2020, this was now launched on the technology industry. What do you expect for him to focus on as he gets started on his third term? Well, uh, the interesting thing is he promotes a lot of people from the aerospace, aviation industry to the Central Committee, including two or three members entered the Power Bureau, uh, two civilian, one military. So that's very, very important development. So certainly show that he will continue to emphasize state-owned enterprises, particularly aerospace. And uh, these are people I call Cosmo Club. And uh, so their presence, their ascendance to the top leadership is very, very important. It will emphasize China's technology innovation, will compete with the United States, particularly at the time U.S. wanted to have the technological decoupling and uh, et cetera. But China is already emerged as the space power in the world. They just established the, the, inter, uh, the China's own space station. So you will see that uh, that's a very clear message. We'll emphasize state of enterprises and also emphasize the, some crucial industrial areas with industry policy. Having said that, they also need to pay attention to the private sector, not so much of a gigantic company like Alibaba or Tencent, but rather small and medium-sized business. And these are the, uh, the, the firms should uh, uh, enhance employment rather than reduce. But uh, certainly they hit badly because of COVID, because of the decoupling uh, led by the United States, and also because government policy simply not to favor them. So this is the issue should be fixed, should mm -hmm. be a more balanced development. So let's hope that uh, this will happen in the months to come.